Hello everyone, my name is and I'm going to be showing you how to use a bass clarinet. So I'm going to start off by showing you how to assemble and disassemble your bass clarinet. For assembling, you need to take out your upper and lower joints and then you need to apply cork grease to the lower joints cork so that you could slide both the pieces better. So I spread it around with my finger so that I can slide in both the pieces more easier and so that it's all around the cork. To push it in together, there's going to be a lever here so that when you press a key, it moves the lever. You just need to hold on to the key here. And now we're going to connect both the pieces by holding on to the key over here. Okay, we're done connecting these two pieces together. You can tell both of the pieces are connected if the two levers over here are in pointing to the same direction and align with each other. So now we connected both of the pieces. Both the levers are aligned, so we know that they're, we put it the correct direction. Now we put together the bell. There's no cork here, so you don't need to apply cork grease to it. You just need to hold on to the key here and then slowly wiggle it. You can tell if it's correctly aligned because the little lever here will be touching the small rod over here. Next, you need to take the neck. For the neck, you need to, there's no cork here either, so you don't need to line it. You just need to kind of move it around. It needs to be facing the opposite direction of where your bell is so that you can make the sound come out. Next, we're going to add the reed. Okay, I have put the reed in a bowl to in a bowl with water to soak. Next, we're going to put the mouthpiece in. We take out the case. And then you slowly slide in the mouthpiece. Next, by now your reed will already be wet. I soaked the reed enough. Now it's time to put it on the mouthpiece. I'm going to keep the reed like so. I'm going to hold it still with my thumb. And I need to make sure that the reed is just a little bit over the mouthpiece so that the sound will come out better. Then while I'm holding it, I put the ligature in. So it's supposed to be on the ground. And it's supposed to stop the bell from hitting the ground. Right now, I'm on a carpet, but I can still attach it just to show you. You keep your instrument like so. Now that I put the floor peg, this is how your bass clarinet will look like once you fully assemble it. You need to make a sound kind of like this. <laughs> that I'll show you how to assemble and make a sound, it's time to disassemble your instrument. I'm going to first start off by loosening the ligature. Next, you just need to slowly wiggle your mouthpiece out. Now I've taken out the mouthpiece and kept it in this case. Next, take out the neck. 
Next, I'm going to take out the floor peg by loosening the screw. Just a little bit. And then taking out the floor peg. Next, I'm going to remove the bell by holding onto the key here and then slowly wiggling it off. Next, I'm going to find finally I'm going to take out the, the upper joint and the lower joint. I'm going to hold on to one of the keys here, which takes which loses the lever, and then I'm going to keep my hands in a place where there aren't any keys, like somewhere around here, and I'm going to slowly wiggle it. I'm going to keep it inside the cases. Now that's how you assemble and disassemble your bass clarinet. Next I'm going to show you how to clean your instrument. Your set might come with a cloth like this, which will help to wiping off. You need to put silver polish and on your thumb over here and this cloth and then you dab it up a little bit and then wipe all around the keys and metal parts of your instrument. And that's basically how you clean your instrument. So that's it with cleaning. Now I'm just going to show you a few tips on how to maintain your instrument. First up the case. You need to first make sure that everything is inside so that you don't end up closing on your instrument. Also, you all you should always keep your instrument flat. If you need to keep it under something, then you can make an exception, but just don't open the keys. Just don't open the thing over here if there's no if it's not flat. Secondly, the reed. The reed is really important because that's how you actually make a sound come out from your instrument. Without the reed, you can't really use your instrument. So for the reeds, I'm just going to show you how to take care of it. The reeds are really delicate because over here, it's very thin wood. So you could just bump it somewhere and you could chip it off. So just always keep it in its case when you're not using it and always hold it by the thick side. Never hold it from here because you might accidentally just cut it through it and once it's cut you can't use it. And lastly carrying the instrument. When you walk around with your instrument you should always hold with it by the handle because you don't want to ruin anything. Because if you hold it by this side first of all it's probably going to be really heavy for you if you're carrying other school supplies. And second of all, you could drop it and it might get really rude and the instrument will stop working. So always use the handle and whenever you're walking, you have to make sure that you don't bump it somewhere because the keys could easily get chipped off. That concludes my presentation on how to use a bass clarinet.